Hi guys, welcome back. So we're starting off with our base. I'm using my Laura Mercier Radiance Primer. I'm putting that all over my face as usual. Also, my brows look great this day. Let me know if you guys want an updated eyebrow routine. Or maybe I'll just start doing them on camera. So for foundation, I went in using my L'Oreal True Match Lumi in C6. This is the foundation I've been using all summer. It's really the one that I use all year round. I love this foundation so much. It gives my skin the right amount of dewiness, but still keeps it fairly matte, probably because of the powders I use, but it does last throughout the day. And then for concealer, I went in with my Maybelline Master Conceal in Medium Dark. So my beauty sponges were so dirty, like too embarrassing to show them on camera. So I decided to blend it out with just a small setting brush. Um, I feel like it ends up looking a little crazy during the process, but everything ended up fine. Um, it did blend out. I did have to go in with my foundation brush just to get rid of the, um, you know, the lines between the foundation and the concealer just so everything had flow and went together, but the brush ended up being fine. It just probably won't be my new tool that I use for my concealer. I'll probably stick to the sponge. So this is me going in with that brush. To set my highlighted areas, I am using my, which one is this? This is the Sasha Cosmetics Buttercup Powder in the RCMA No Color Powder. I mix these two together, I get the perfect color. I love these two together. Um, yeah, and I'm just setting my face using a brush instead of my sponge, which is different, but I actually like using a brush for this. And then to set my entire face, I use my Black Opal Velvet Finishing Powder in Medium. And then to contour these cheeks, I went in with my Tarte Tartiest Makeup Shayla Contour Kit. And I'm using the shade number three, which is the second to darkest shade in the palette, to cut those cheeks. And then for blush, I'm using the NYC Sun to Sun Bronzing Powder. I don't use, a, use this as a bronzer because it's a little bit too red. I love it as a blush, though. I don't know if they still sell it, but you can probably find it on Amazon. And then for eyes, I am priming them with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden, blending that out with a brush. And then I am setting that with my RCMA No Color Powder so I don't get any skipping. So I didn't show it on camera, but I just used MAC Saddle, a color that is well known and well loved. Um, I put that in my crease just to get a little depth because I won't be doing full blown eyeshadow today. The focus will be on the eyeliner. So I just went back and forth the windshield wiper motions, not going in with too much product, just enough. And then for my liner, I use the NYX, or I mean NYX, <laughs> um, Noir Eyeliner in Black. So I'm just taking my time the thing with eyeliner or liquid liner especially, well winged liner, is that every eye shape is different. So I know we see a lot of girls with the super dramatic, thick winged liner and we all want that, but every eye cannot handle that. It's something that I've had to accept. I don't have a lot of lid space. My eyes, um, they're not small, but they're almond shape. So this is about as large as I personally can go without it looking ridiculous, <laughs> um, but it is still impactful. So just do as much as your eye can handle. It'll still be very pretty, very soft, and still be fierce.
then for mascara, I'm starting off with my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Primer, just to prime my lashes. I've been loving this product lately. It really does thicken my lashes up and lengthens them. And then for mascara, I'm using my MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara. And for highlighter, I went in with my Estee Lauder Heat Wave. Super popping, as you can see. I love this highlighter. You only need a little, which I feel like I might have this product for a very long time, especially if they do not bring it back. For lashes, I went in with my Cocoa Lashes and Clean Z. The funny thing is, these lashes are so old, so raggedy, but somehow I like how that looks. Like a pair of used and worn and loved lashes look a little more natural. So I'm going to use them probably until a whole chunk comes out. Um, or, you know, it's not being cheap and order some more. And then this is me just priming my bottom lashes with that same L'Oreal Lash Primer. And then I'm going to go in with the MAC Mascara. And then I'm going to wear bottom lashes today. So I used my House of Lashes. Um, lashes in the style precious so I actually haven't worn these in a while I ordered a pair while I was in college which was two years ago like I wore them to my graduation and everything I loved them and I just stopped doing it I don't know it really is an extra step and sometimes I'm lazy but I love how this turned out especially if you want to do a red lip and you really don't want to keep your eyes so basic but you're not really that good at doing eyeshadow this is a nice way to really play up your eyes while not having to do too much the thing with the bottom lashes that once you place them on you want to make sure you really place your finger underneath and lift them up because they will sit flat on your face and that will have you looking like Twiggy and a little bit crazy. <laughs> so then for lips I use the MAC Cosmetics, Lip, MAC Cosmetics Lip Liner in Night Moth which is just a dark purple. It really needs to be sharpened but I made it work. And then I went in with three products today. I started with the ColourPop Liquid Lipstick in LAX, which is basically the same color as that MAC Night Moth. And I'm lining just the outer rim of my lips because we're going to fill in the center. This is really the best way to get the ombre effect, guys, especially if you've been trying to do this. And then I went in with the Colored Rain Liquid Lipstick in Cherry Blossom, which is this true red. It's beautiful. And I put this right in the center to get that ombre effect. And then I went in with a brush to really diffuse those colors together since the bristles are kind of spaced apart. It'll diffuse all of that together. And then I went in with the Sephora Lip Stain in Always Red, which is more of that true blue red. It's a little bit lighter. And I put that right in the center. And then I took my brush again and... What I've learned is with the ombre effect, you really want to use three different colors to really, really get a true ombre effect and to get it not the most natural, but the most realistic. So this is the final look. I loved how it turned out. It was nice to take a break from eyeshadow. Um, I'll probably be doing this more often. It really is a nice, well, it's the first fall look I'm basically doing for the season. Let me know what you guys think. If you do this look, please tag me on Instagram. My, de my details of this look will always be on my blog, beautywoo.com, B-E-A-U-T-Y-Y-W-O-O.com. And I will see you guys in my next video. Oh, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.